Hello, everybody, and uh, this is a very special broadcast of the uh, Alex Jones uh, show. Actually, it's not the Alex Jones show. This is just some ple- this is just some musings that I've been having, and I wanted to express myself uh, kind of in an, uh, you know in a more simpler form. You know, not with all the hoo haws and the ding dongs and the bing wings and all the things going on in the studio. No, just me uh, and the microphone and Anthony Gucciardi uh, running the board. Uh, and by the way, I'd like to thank Anthony Gucciardi. It is Sunday, and he spent the entire day in church. Uh, he is at mass, of course, and he is a uh, uh, he is the world's oldest altar boy. Uh, Anthony is the world's oldest altar boy, which is odd. I don't pretend to even be able to explain it. Uh, but people ask me; these are some of the questions I get uh, via Twitter uh, and other places. Alex Jones uh, at Gmail. Uh, where are some of the places that I personally, Alex Jones, like to talk about the New World Order to people? You know, where I like to get their attention. And I think some of those places I could list you right now. Uh, so some of the things I like to do or while I'm doing it or some of the places I'm at, I do like to talk about the New World Order. And here's just a quick list of those places, maybe give you some ideas on how you can talk to people about the New World Order. Okay, well, let's see. Uh I like to talk about the New World Order when I'm watching Game of Thrones uh, during Shabbos uh, while I'm buying lottery tickets uh, at the bathhouse uh, in a rainstorm with a playful friend uh, while I'm reading Men's Health magazine uh, at my friend Troy's house uh, playing the video game Final Fantasy. Uh, I like to talk about the New World Order while I watch men swim. Uh, I like to talk about the New World Order at Six Flags Over Texas. Uh, I like to talk about him at Six Fags over Texas uh, while I watch cage fighting, uh, while I'm at the gym, uh, in a guy named Jim, uh, well, when I'm doing my chores, uh, when I'm writing my Gilmore Girl fanfic, uh, when I'm at Comic-Con, at Comic-Con when I'm dressed up like a glittery vampire from Twilight, uh, when I'm waiting for Toast to pop up uh, in my RV that I keep uh, the collection of IDs I've stolen from drifters I've killed and eaten. Uh, when my kids and I accidentally make eye contact, uh, when my wife and I accidentally make eye contact, uh, playing Keno and Reno while drinking vino. Uh, I like to talk about the New World Order when I am interview Rich Dad Robert Kirukawa. Hell, I can't pronounce that gook's name. Uh, while I'm making my dogfighting videos uh, after nap time. Um, when G. Edward Griffin corners me uh, at the bait shop. Uh, when I'm on the phone ordering a male escort. Uh, when I'm licking my own reflection in the mirror, uh, when I'm dry clicking my revolver at the mirror, uh, when I'm crying into the mirror, uh, while I'm debating suicide while I'm driving on the freeway, uh, while I'm trying on a tight black t-shirt with Mark Dice, uh, while I'm hunting Marxists, uh, while I'm reading Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> when I'm on the phone talking to Joel Grey, uh, I like to talk about the New World Order when I'm hang gliding, I like to talk about the New World Order when I'm on peyote, uh, you know, rolling dice with a Native American gentleman at Steve Pachemic's house. Uh, I-, I like playing Russian roulette with an old cat I met on peyote while at Steve Pachemic's house. Uh, when I'm buying hardwood flooring. Uh, when I'm buying hardwood flooring for my spaceship. Uh, while I'm waiting to do a karaoke version of Rock Me Tonight by Bill Esquire. Uh, while I'm at the Home Depot picking up illegal aliens to stall- install my hardwood flooring in my spaceship. And finally, when I hotbox my Jeep with my own farts. And those are just a few places that I like to talk about the New World Order. Maybe you can do the same thing. Thank you for listening and have a great Sunday. Anthony, you can go ahead and head back to church now.